Today on Great Places Seen, we get very close to nature as we pass through the gate to NJ24. Great food, great friends, great fun as YouTubers meet up. We take a chance on Atlantic City, rolling through the home of casinos, and legendary entertainment inspiration. There's some illuminating history of a fabled landmark before we take a stroll along the wide open beach. You're invited. Come in. The show's about to begin. The rainbow at the end of a long, wet drive through hurricane remnants was NJ-24, held at May's Landing Campground in New Jersey. The wind was still blowing. Large trees were swaying. Gray clouds were streaming by overhead. At least the rain was not bad at all in this area. I arrived in time for a comfortable setup and to settle in. The trailer was carefully wedged between some formidable trees in one of the smaller spaces available. And soon, it was time to join everyone for live streams because, well, that's what YouTubers do. And of course, put on my colorful new NJ24 t-shirt. Nice. I like it. Thank you so much, Thank you. You're welcome. We couldn't think of anybody else oh. that was more deserving of it than. Yeah. Well, we wanted to give it to somebody who was going to play it. Play yeah. it and give it a good definitely, home. Definitely, yeah. So. It will definitely have a good home. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. So. Uh, welcome. We had to learn how to tune it by ear. There you go. Let me see how, how close the E is. Uh, it's way it's way flat. Gas. I can't concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> More wine. More wine. I'll help. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Oh, it's gonna have to Yeah, I'm writing. Writing in my own. I'm free. We have one, two, three, four, five cameras on me. If Sonia can figure out her camera, eventually we'll have six. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, with this rowdy crowd we have here tonight. Mini Tinny Lounge tomorrow night, five o'clock. Tomorrow, five, if we figure out the. the we'll out figure the it out. And, uh, well, now. Go to the RV DJ channel because Sonia is going to start her live team in five minutes. In five minutes. As always, thank you for watching and see you on the road. On the road. Thank you. Oh, now I figure yeah. it out. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Oh, here it is. Now Sonia's ready to go. Can we go back to the start and another run through? <laughs> Well, good morning from Mays Landing, New Jersey. It's going to be a nice day today. The remnants of Hurricane Debbie have blown away, and the forecast looks for a pleasant, sunny, warm day. Yeah, I'll take that. Looks like someone left behind a pair of glasses. It's another great day to be out. A really nice pond is behind my trailer. A little perk for parking between those trees. Complete with flowering lily pads. It goes back farther than you might think. Perhaps, as inspiration for YouTubers, the original form of streaming. I do have a nice wooded entrance to my trailer. Hmm. 
You're also welcome to step inside my other channel, Great Places Seen Too. You'll find much shorter extras, some completely random videos you might enjoy. It's free to subscribe to both so you don't miss a thing. Now let's go behind the scenes to set up for a musical live stream with Traveling Robert and the RV DJ in a very warm community room. Far, let me, we gotta tilt it down a little bit. All right. uh, maybe a little closer and tilt down a little bit. Is it starting? Can I see me? We chose internet. <laughs> Our live audience down there. Woo! Here we go. We're going to start with something that should sound familiar to you. And it goes like this. We're riding in my army. Wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my army. Yeah. Well, you know, we are in the roaring 20s. Remember no, the, yeah. 
These are the roaring twenties. Once again, prohibition is coming soon. This is going to be. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too far. We'll move to the UK. Don't worry. <laughs> and this, um, but since we are in the roaring twenties, we're going to party all night long. And the RB DJ is getting ready here with her playlist. All night. If you will give you the RV dish, and nobody told me I had the wrong date on the <laughs> screen here. Somebody now I find it. out it's not August 9th, it is, it's August 10th. <laughs> you only asked for day. NJ24 is on its own time zone. <laughs> exactly, yeah, we are, it's, it's an alternate reality out here. <laughs> Sonia, and did you have audio there? Are you gonna go? <laughs> out uh, the chat here. Can you guys see, hear me okay in the chat here? Yep. We get Rick Fiddler, fantastic performance, Travel Driver 46 singing, Driving Robert Haven Scott, she has Mark Z Hammer, Jimmy DC, which, Woo! yeah, that this is very, like, Insta360 here. <laughs> um, if you guys in the chat have uh, any uh, requests, just type it and, and Sonia will say them to me because, you know, um, uh, my IPA fell out of the top of the can. What? You sound great. Thank you, Suzanne. Anyway. Live drinky pools. Here is your IPA, sir. Live from the virtual bartender. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, no. We had the wrong camera on, but thank you. Oh, Cheers. I snuck it on his table. Yeah, <laughs> shouldn't be mixing, but here we go. Uh, so it goes like this. It's a hybrid of Elvis and the music of my native land. Baby, you land, it up. Ba <laughs> I don't know what's looping. What's it? <laughs> Something Why are wrong. Marcy Hammer wants La Guagua. La Guagua, Marcy Hammer. And there's, there's a Wawa gas station here, but, but they don't let you pump your own gas. You have to, the guy has to come with the vest and then he has to pump the gas. And Tracy's channel wants Margaritaville. Margaritaville. Let's do Margaritaville so we do like one and one, okay. one and two. It's so hot that the ice is melting like quicker than I can drink it. Well, remembering the late Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Let me pause here before it starts playing again. <laughs> Focus, I have, there's a little button that says loop. And I had it on. Unloop the loop. I had to unloop it. Hold on. Fruit there loop. you go. Always the, <laughs> always the button. By the way, they do have adult bingo here at some point. So yeah. What's the difference between adult bingo and non-adult bingo? The kids win candy bars. Yeah, oh, they like, they like oh, okay. Like, like, adult bingo, you can bring your own adult beverage yeah, of your choice. Yeah, like Let's see. Here we go. Let me see if we fix the loop issue. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yes, we fixed it. All right, everybody here in the chat. That's our live audience. We have a live audience here. And now the end is near, but not quite there yet. This one is called New York, New York, and it goes like this. Sonia really does 10 bar. <laughs> right? Not just a virtual bartender. <laughs> 
big thanks to Jim and Sonia, along with the young RVers and Rob on the road for incredibly excellent food. Anybody want to try a blueberry from Jersey? Why, yes. And one of the order of highlights, water chestnuts wrapped in bacon. Oh my goodness, I can't tell you how many of those I ate. Well, good Sunday morning from New Jersey. NJ24 was great, but it's come to a close and uh, time to roll on down the road. So we'll get hitched up shortly and continue on. I'm taking historic U.S. Route 40 East to Atlantic City. I also came here the day before for a short time with Sonia, the RV DJ. This is a compilation of both visits. You may have been doing AC for a long time. Atlantic City was the inspiration for perhaps the best known board game ever. This place remains proud of that, and it's fun to see the actual streets we already know well. Boardwalk is, of course, THE Boardwalk. We'll see that later. There are also those streets that remind me of home in D.C. And here is the eastern terminus of what is known as the National Road, U.S. Route 40. At this end is a stately tribute to those who have fallen in defense of our country. Although the eastern end of U.S. Route 40 is a busy crossroad, this Roman-inspired open rotunda monument is very quiet, with virtually no one here. A relatively newer addition in O'Donnell Memorial Park honors local residents who have served in various battles, each listed with informative plaques along the perimeter. These residents keep watch 24-7 they can be a bit territorial. There's the old police station. Just visiting, thank you. Now for a ride along the main drag, Atlantic Avenue. Here's where the casinos are lined up. I can't video inside, so let's just roll past where the high rollers roll on. This was once the gambling mecca of the East, but over the years, other states have legalized gambling, leaving Atlantic City less of a destination for that. 
No matter, there are still big bucks here. Huge. Caesars is one of the most famous, and it's absolutely astoundingly massive. To be sure, some fly high here, mostly the birds. Atlantic City's decline from its heyday is evident. Large, vacant lots in prime locations. Traffic is light on a beautiful weekend. Many buildings are weathered or boarded up. But the wealthy casinos seem to be doing well. You know, the house always wins, so they say. They do offer more than just gambling, of course. Fine dining, shows, the occasional boxing match. Nice rooms near the boardwalk and beach. On this end of town is the eastern terminus of another major U.S. route. 30 is the third longest highway in the United States stretching over 3,000 miles from Atlantic City to Astoria, Oregon. Absecon Boulevard anchors this end, which leads to one of the city's most recognizable landmarks, a lighthouse first lit in 1857. <laughs> yes, free parking here. And there's a lot of history here, too. Knut Hansen was the final lighthouse keeper before Absecon was decommissioned in 1933. Here he is inspecting hydrangeas, which still prolifically bloom around the lighthouse. Absecon souvenirs were popular, pictured on postcards, ceramic tiles. It's now only lit naturally during daylight hours. So that's the original lens. That's the original lens, yes sir. And how old is it? Well, it was manufactured in France in 1854. The light was actually lit for the first time in January of 1857. The Fresnel lens is, is how old? How 18, long have you been? 1821 is when Fresnel made the first one. Okay, so this, this lighthouse got Got one within the first 20, yeah, 25 and, years. So its first day mark was red and white. Atlantic City was growing up around this, so it got harder. By the 1890s, it was getting harder to pick, pick out this and, right. and de determine with that you weren't looking at, at Barnegat. And, and that's important because when you get up a beam Barnegat, if you're going to New York, you have to make just a few degrees turn to the left. So it was important to know that you were looking at Barnegat and not, not looking at it at, at Seekin. Because if you make that turn to the left down at that uh, at, at Seekin, you have more danger of running the ground. So, so it was important to know. So they changed the day mark of this. They, they made two changes. They changed the colors to yellow and black, and they moved the stripe up. Hmm. So the stripe is the, the, the top half is yellow and black. 
and then the bottom half is all yellow. And uh, so that's what they did. Now, it was decommissioned in 1933, but the federal government kept it because they used it as a lookout tower. So after World War II, they were going to destroy it. So Atlantic City took it over, and when Atlantic City took it over, they painted that. That is actually a blue stripe and white. The city's colors, same thing here. And then the state took it over in the 60s, so that was taken over in about 1947, and I don't know when they did painted it, but they painted it like by the 50s for sure. The state took it over, and the state decided they should paint it the its original day mark, and so that's what they did. And then when this nonprofit, well, there you see the blue. Oh, yeah. So then you then this non, it kind of went in into disuse in the 80s and into the early 90s, and this part of Atlantic City had really deteriorated. <clears throat> so. A nonprofit started up in the early 90s, and they decided that the first thing they wanted to do was to get this block all lit up to, to help, because this was a good place for bad stuff to happen. So, so, so they raised the money to re, to do the restoration of the lighthouse, and they decided that they wanted to light the lighthouse itself, and so they decided to to the, the day mark they should put on there was, is what it was when it was electrified. So, and they, so that's, that's what they decided. So that's why it's what it is now. Absecon was an important beacon for sailors navigating what is considered some of the most deadly waters along the U.S. East Coast. Now the 171 foot tall lighthouse is home to flower and vegetable gardens and a museum shining the light of its long history on current and future generations of visitors. Birds, the birds, they're everywhere here. Many more landmarks of old Atlantic City are along Pacific Avenue, mostly churches, some that have stood for a century or more, all standing in contrast to the excesses and open lifestyles the casinos brought to town. You won't find Florida Avenue on your Monopoly board, but you will find decent beach parking here, as one would expect from the name. And more birds. There it is, the famous boardwalk of Atlantic City. The boardwalk is impressively wide, as is the beach once you cross over the dunes. This is a great place to sit by the ocean. Of course, the boardwalk is a massive tourist trap. Always fun to see what's there. What do you want to make a bet the psychic knew I was coming here? I know those birds are aiming for my car. This was not part of the satellite image that I saw. There's construction in here today. 
Try as you may, these birds won't fly away. They stand their ground with attitude. Time to roll as the aerial show continues. Yeah, that didn't take long. After I cleaned up my parting gift, I passed go, no, I never did get $200, and headed west through New Jersey to the expansive Delaware Memorial Bridge. Four lanes wide in each direction, no waiting, well, most days. Simple, beautiful suspension construction across the scenic Delaware River. I'm heading through and past Delaware into Maryland for a few days at a state park that sits at the northern end of the Chesapeake Bay. I've had my eye on it for a while as it's relatively close to DC and since it's on the way home, well, there's no time like the present to visit. That's a strong hint for the next video. I hope you'll join me as the journey continues. Until then, safe travels and thanks for watching. like a winner.